people, there is a new way to shiny hunt in the crown tundra. This is super exciting, really cool stuff, and I'm not surprised at all that we're actually getting this. This is not a shock in the slightest. I think pretty much everyone was kind of expecting this to become a new shiny hunting method, but the odds seem to be really high. People are getting these really, really quick through this method. So we're going to talk about that real quick. But if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to subscribe because we talk about Pokemon stuff all the time here. So let's get into this new shiny hunting method. So the new method involves the Dynamax Adventures. The Dynamax Adventures are something we talked about in a video just the other day when the Crown Tundra released. What a Dynamax Adventure is, is a essentially a multiple raid dens in one. You go in with three other people, you battle through a system of different Pokemon, you choose a path, and each Pokemon you're able to catch and swap out for a Pokemon in your party because you don't get to take your own Pokemon in, you actually have to choose one as you go in. So you really kind of have to strategically plan your route through each of these Dynamax adventures and then at the very end you will be able to catch a legendary Pokemon if you defeat it. Now these legendary Pokemon have a 100% catch rate. The only problem is you can only catch them one time. So if you're going to shiny hunt them you need to not catch them. So the way you just go about not catching them is just when you get to the end you have the option to select which Pokemon you take with you. All you do is just don't select the legendary Pokemon and then that legendary Pokemon will show up again in future raid battles. This is really cool, really easy to do. So, so the shiny hunting method is literally just going through these. Apparently, the odds seem to be very high. People are getting shinies very, very quickly out of these Dynamax adventures. However, you cannot see if the Pokemon is shiny until you get to the end of the Dynamax adventure and you're actually selecting which Pokemon to take with you. Any of the Pokemon inside these Dynamax adventures can be shiny, so it's worth catching everything and looking at each Pokemon that you're going to have at the end. Now one thing to note is that there can be multiple shiny Pokemon coming out of these Dynamax adventures which can kind of throw you off. You're going to have to pick and choose because you can only leave with one Pokemon from the Dynamax adventure. So you really need to be sure which one you're going to take. Again, the legendaries can be caught one time. So if you pull the legendary out, you are not going to be able to do a Dynamax adventure for that again. Sadly, I already did my Suicune. I pulled that out because I was unaware of the shiny hunting method when I started the Crown Tundra. So I'm not going to get that opportunity to shiny hunt a Suicune, but I have the opportunity to shiny hunt all the other legendaries that are a part of the Dynamax adventure and all the other Pokemon that are in the Dynamax adventure. So this is a really, really cool shiny hunting method. So again, let me just sum it up real quick. Exactly what you got to do. You go into a Dynamax adventure, you can go with friends or you can go solo. It's entirely up to you. You want to strategically plan your way through so you have the best chance of completing the Dynamax adventure and taking out the legendary because you can only have an opportunity to catch the legendary if you actually defeat it. Then after defeating the legendary and catching it, you can look at the Pokemon that you have available to take out with you. If said legendary is not shiny when you look at it, you simply just select another Pokemon and that legendary Pokemon will be there still when you go back through to do the Dynamax adventure again. You will still have that opportunity to catch that legendary Pokemon as long as you don't add it to your party. It's as simple as that. Don't add the legendary Pokemon to your party and you will have as many opportunities as you want to encounter over and over and over again in these Dynamax adventures. Now whether or not they made this intentional or not is unknown and the exact odds at which people are getting these is unknown because the DLC literally just came out, so we there's no numbers yet. We don't know exactly what the odds are, how quickly you're going to get some of these Pokemon. But like I said, there's tons of people saying they're getting them first encounter, third encounter, crazy numbers like that. So apparently this seems to be a very good method of getting shiny Pokemon. And like I said, who knows if this was meant to be a actual thing or if it's something weird in the coding, but it's kind of nice because this gives us a reason to just keep grinding those Dynamax Adventures. And honestly, I find the Dynamax Adventures to be a lot of fun. I really liked going through and just picking which Pokemon would work best based on the route I was going to take through them. They are a ton of fun to do. So having more, even more incentive to go back in by shiny hunting, I just think this is a great feature. And there's so much replay value here in the Crown Tundra. I am loving every minute of it. It is just a fantastic DLC so far. So that is it. Again, don't take the legendary if it's not shiny. Unless you just won't, don't care about the shiny, if you take the legendary, it will not respawn in the Dynamax adventure. That's the one thing I want to hammer home before I close this video out. But 
that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you found it entertaining and helpful. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Be sure to share the video with your friends. Let's grow this community here on the channel. Speaking of community, we got a community Discord. People over there playing games like Pokemon and Animal Crossing. So check that out if that's something that interests you. And I do stream over on Twitch as well. I play Pokemon and stuff over there. It's a lot of fun. So check that out if that is something that interests you. And all my other social media should be on screen here at this point. So if you're interested in keeping up with me, this channel, the stream, anything like that, check me out there as well. But like I said, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.